of our new crab habitat for our three hermit crabs which have survived a year in a 10 gallon which I had set up pretty cool for a 10 gallon but this this is unbelievable <laughs> I uh, I'm so excited for them. I can't wait to introduce them. I'm going to do that for you on video, introduce them, and we can see them explore a little bit. But um, I added several levels. I made a moss pit. Well, first the pools with the bubbling. And yes, those are the paint trays from Walmart that you probably have heard so much about with the ramps that I used uh, aquarium sealant to adhere the gravel and the shells which takes several days to dry, so plan ahead. <laughs> then you need to wash thoroughly with Since vinegar smells or anything. Vinegar and water, just a small dilution. But um, uh, I think they're really set. I put the bubbler in the clean, in the clear water, in the purified water, um, only because I didn't want to have any salt mineral um, uh, problems, you know, building up on the bubbler. So it's just a small bubbler with a small little air filter and under ten dollars for the whole thing which was awesome and of course they're they're hopefully deep enough sand which I had to tear up but we made a cocoa hut for them out of a small animal ceramic piece I used some hemp rope and used some netting and created a climbing surface for them um, using also smooth glass um, gold fiber stuff. in order for them to climb up on it otherwise the ceramic pieces they just slide on so um, and here's a little piece that we found on clearance <laughs> which goes with the whole Mayan theme little hiding spot up there for them little tunnel cool shell to hold down the drift or the bark that we have in here for a bridge uh, well I made this ladder too out of shish kebab sticks <laughs> It works. And another cocoa hut, another hiding spot. Their food dish will go right there. So I want to give them some room. And then we have a real live bamboo plant, um, which I had in their other habitat. And it needs, I think, a little light. It's not faring too well. But I wanted to put one live plant in here, um, along with a saucer of coconut milk on there for them, which I thought would be kind of cool, easily accessible from the top. And. Of course, the plants, the full plants. Up here is their moss pit with all their shells. Right now, we only have three hermit crabs, uh, two PPs, the purple pinchers, and one E, an Ecuadorian, which I am trying to find him a friend. So hard to find one right now. Um, we actually won him at the state fair, which is coming around again next week, and I'm hoping to get a friend for him there. Should be great. They really like their friends. He spends most of his time buried, and I'm afraid that he is depressed right now. So we're trying hard. That was actually our first hermit crab. <laughs> and then I went to the store to get him a friend, and all they had were purple pinchers, but I didn't. So we brought him home, and then I ended up having to get another purple pincher to get him a friend, and still can't find an Ecuadorian. So I'm really excited to introduce them. I'm going to do that now. Let's see the setup. Yeah, it took a lot of work. <laughs> and they're probably going to mess it up really good, which is fine. I want them to play around and explore, and I want them to have a great little hermy life. So, okay. Okay.